Alright, so you probably watched so many tutorials of stuff which is blending, get your colour, and get the smudge tool. Alright, so get a soft brush or any anything that um, transfers the colour. Stroke, done, to the side, all good. The cube, yep, shadow stuff, all good. Yep, the ball, egg lighting exercise, bounce light, yep, shadow, core shadow, blah blah blah. Yep, yeah, alright, now let's get in the me real meat potatoes. Jewelry. Jewelry. So pretty much jewels and gems in general are like an eyeball and the eyeball is very similar to the ball exercise with lighting and all but just taken to the next level it shines in different areas instead of one like the pupil or you know the little white circle thing yeah the highlight essentially an eyeball with a lot of triangles but first let me show you the secret sauce I use go to your rough line art and it doesn't have to be perfect just um, do that and press the icon make reference and how uh, it shows on the screen and then get a new layer under the lineup and put in some rough colors let's say we think we'll be doing a ruby so add some red and have the overall gist of the shadows and I, I won't be too fussed with it just slap it in I'm, I'm gonna go from light to dark and this takes a very short amount of time and now that we have our base colors, go to the edit menu, scroll down and find the colorize menu and then click that and press OK. Let it load, take a sip of water, hydration check. If you started um, and yeah, um, and then you notice that it looks really, really dark. This usually happens um, because uh, using the colorize tool uh, set it as a multiply layer, therefore making everything dark. Yeah, so we'll just uh, clean that up. But yeah, this is the result. It does a really nice job of laying down base colors, like it's really smooth and clean. And yeah, I, I, I find it saves so much time for me. Like, I don't need to spend 10 minutes or oh, 15 minutes, you know, blending. Yeah, most people throw away blending. Yeah, most people throw away the original base color that we originally put in. Yeah, but watch this. Take the original base colors, which are which are quite ugly, and then put it on the very top and set it to overlay. And yeah, it's done. It's done to all come together. Now let's get a darker background. And usually red works with dark green, and making it pop more. I'll get to how I choose my colors soon. And now my best friend, the lasso fill tool. You can find it by pressing U, but I just set it to my brush hotkey and save time. I use it for 99% of my art. And yeah, slap lots of triangles in it. It's an eyeball with lots of triangles. And yeah, just put it around the form of the jewel and, and it's done. Yeah, and then put some glow and yeah, voila. As you can see, I was messy with my layer and use as well. You can be more clean than me. Yeah. Want to change colors as well? Press Ctrl U, hue saturation menu, and change it, and you have the color done. And you can um, change the saturation or the hue to whatever you feel like, as long as you have the values nice and down pat. Yeah, which um, the colorize menu will all, almost always have the values fine. And yeah, just choose amber, sapphire, aquamine, or whatever roughly, or what jewel you want to make it to. And, that, and that's how you make a jewel in 11 minutes. Also, this is how I choose my colors. And let's get the eyedropper tool. So as you can see, this is the um, all the primary colors you can think of um, on the gray background. It's not too interesting then you put onto a black background it looks much more interesting and all that stuff and there's contrast and all that stuff but to make it more appealing to the eye um, the way I choose it is you for example you have your red color and then you literally go two shades to the right and yeah I, I feel like it makes a much more nicer you know interesting shape and and it makes the color pop more than the black but you can still use this side um, in case like um, in case your body of work actually needs that sort of 
um, color scheme, but usually this is how I do it. So yeah, you see that, and just jumped two shades to the right. Yep, orange, jump two shades to the right. Purple, yep. Yeah, that you, that's usually all. That's all my color choices. Pretty much that's essentially my whole workflow almost all the time. A rough rundown is line art, base colors, colorize the base color layer, place the original base colors on top of the colorized layer, set it to whatever blending mode, mostly overlay works, then fine tune it, new layer uh, and do it as overlay again. You want a lighter color, soft airbrush some orange or make it brighter with whatever relevant color. Want it darker, simply use a darker um, color and going down in you know the dark range of the color color value and yeah that's essentially it my workflow is one plus one again eyeballs are trying yeah that, that. <laughs> again jewels are an eyeball with a lot of triangles and after all that fine tune the shapes again add a glow layer and we're done my recording died for this one, but this is my friend Sarah. Here's her Instagram on the screen as shown, and also remember when drawing faces to flip the canvas as you'll see much more errors with the art from a different angle. Alright, um, the process goes the same as um, what I've displayed, which is, you know, the line art, base color, colorize, you know, the whole process, put the base, original base color onto the colorize layer, uh, on an overlay, blending mode, and yeah, rinse, rinse and repeat, that's my whole workflow. Also, this is the old one, um, yeah, um, sometimes, well, most of the time, the work doesn't always come out perfect, so I start over and all that stuff, so don't don't think everything is all done in one go. <laughs> and yeah, let's just flip it just for fun. Alright, so this is my friend Kira, and yeah, uh, she has like really, really good makeup skills, so I, I suggest you also maybe follow her as well, because yeah, she's, she has some awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so this is the line art drawing, and we're gonna flip it. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Let's go. What? <laughs> Anyways, the tutorial's done. Um, yeah, I've given you uh, everything that I know as, as of now, and I hope it helps you on your art journey. Yeah, and like and subscribe. And I'll see you until next time. I'm a sucker for you.